CTW presents Sesame Street Show 2090, produced at Reeves Teletape, New York City. in the world of grouches? Well, if you must know, Ms., mind your own business, I'm looking for a job. This newspaper's got pages and pages of jobs, but not one of them is any good for a grouch. Do you know anybody who needs some work done? I'm not fussy. I'll do anything. Well, actually, Oscar, I did need somebody... <laughs> no, never mind. <laughs> oh, what? What? Well, you know... The windows at the fix-it shop have really been horrible since that last rainstorm, and I haven't had a chance to do them. I can't do them today because I have to finish a job at somebody's apartment. Oh, hey, I'll do them. I'm good at filthy windows. Huh? I don't know, Oscar. I... Oh, I tell you, I know everything there is to know about filthy windows. Just let me get my pail and a few rags. I'll go right over to your shop. By the time you get back from your job... Those windows will be all done, okay? <laughs> well, uh, wait, am I crazy letting Oscar wash my windows? Well, what could go wrong? I mean, he, he said he was going to get a pail and rags. Oh, that's it. He wants to keep the dirty, filthy rags. You know, grouches like dirty, filthy rags. So I'm sure it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. I hope it'll be fine. Please let it be fine. that moon. Isn't that pretty? Do you ever think you might like to visit the moon? Well, I did. Well, I'd like to visit the moon on a rocket ship high in the air. Yes, I'd like to visit the moon. But I don't think I'd like to live there Though I'd like to look down at the earth from above I would miss all the places and people I love So although I might like it for one afternoon I don't want to live on the moon I'd like to travel under the sea 
I could meet all the fish everywhere. Yes, I'd travel under the sea, but I don't think I'd like to live there. I might stay for a day there if I had my wish, but there's not much to do when your friends are all fish, and an oyster and clam aren't real family. So I don't want to live in the sea. I'd like to visit the jungle, hear the lions roar, go back in time and meet a dinosaur. There's so many strange places I'd like to be, but none of them permanently. So if I should visit the moon, well, I'll dance on a moonbeam and then I will make a wish on a star And I'll wish I was home once again Though I'd like to look down at the earth from above I would miss all the places and people I love So although I may go, I'll be coming home soon Cause I don't want to live on the moon No, I don't want to live on the moon. the letter E. It's the first letter in the word elephant. And the word E. Luckily, I have another one. The letter E is also the first letter of the word eagle. That wasn't very nice. And it's the first letter of the word everybody. And the word empty. And the word Egg. Ah! Oscar, what are you doing? Your window, of course. You said you wanted the filthy window done, so I done it. <laughs> no, you didn't. Hmm? They're, they're dirtier than they were before. Well, of course it's dirtier. When a grouch says he's gonna do windows, that means he's gonna make them more filthy and dirty than they ever were before. But you said you were gonna get a pail and, and some rags. I did. See, I brought a pail full of rags. And look, combination of grease, motor oil, and some soot. <laughs> yeah. You know, I get the feeling you're not happy with my work. Of course I'm not happy with your work. You were supposed to wash the windows, wash them, not make them dirtier. Wash the windows? Me? You mean, me make it clean? Maria, I'm a grouch, remember? I like things dirty. Well, yes, Oscar, but I am not a grouch, and I thought you would know by now that I don't like things dirty. Well, I thought you'd change your mind about stuff like that. Next time, make it clearer what you want. Well, you bet I will. Suppose this means I'm out of a job? <sighs> Probably. The Adventures of Clever Bill. Clever Bill came upon two giants arguing over who was going to eat a big, juicy apple. Me, said the first giant. No, me, said the other giant. You ate a 70-pound cheese wheel this morning. But I'm still hungry, said the first giant. Why don't you divide the apple in two parts, said Clever Bill, and each eat half, 
said the giants. How clever! Two girls were arguing over who was going to bounce a big rubber ball. Me, said the first girl. No, me, said the other girl. Why don't you bounce the ball to each other, said Clever Bill. That way you can both play with it. Hey, wow, that's smart, said the girls. And off they went. Two ogres were arguing over who would get into the sleeping bag full of mashed bananas. Me, said the first ogre. No, me, said the second ogre. You got to swim in the cabbage juice. Yeah, groaned Clever Bill and said, two out of three isn't bad. Hey, come on. Look at this. Oh, how's look it look? At, oh, not too good. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Okay. Look at that wall and those, yeah. those windows over there. And look at the wall over there. And the floor. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. And the floor. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know what? This clubhouse of ours is a dump. I wish we could get something to fix this clubhouse up somehow. Me mm. too. Me too. Mm, me too. Yeah. Hey, you know what? what? Hey, what? I'm going to go out and get the stuff to fix this place up with, okay? I'll be right back. Mm. Me too. Mm. Me too. Mm, me too. Well, me too. Mm, gee, all I found was some paper chain, and it's not going to make this old place look any better. Mm. Gee, all I could find were these curtains. That won't help much. Yeah, I just got a picture. Big deal. Mm, all I could find were these streamers. I'm sorry. Well, will this tablecloth make the place look much better? Well, I guess not. Gee, you know, I, I really wanted to make this, this place better, you know? Yeah, I wanted to fix too. it up. I wish I could have found more. Yeah. Well, I think we might as well put up the things we did find. Oh, yeah, might as well. Might as well. I guess so. Oh, boy, you know, it's too bad we couldn't fix up our clubhouse. Yeah, I'm sorry. All we could do is to find a few yeah, little tiny things, few things, things that could put Wait a second. It. Look. Mm, the clubhouse looks great. Well, we sure does, but how did we do it? I know. We each did a little. But together we did a lot. You know what we did? What? Mm, we cooperated. Well, yeah. Thank you for cooperation. Cooperation. Yay. Yay. Cooperation. Yay. Is that big enough? No. 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 You tell me when to stop. Stop. Stop? Yeah. Yes, okay. Mark, I want you to catch the balloon. Let me see you hit it to Bruce. Because I'm big. Oh. <laughs> He's big. Well, I'm. I'm. Uh. I'm me. I'm me. And that's the way I like it. Aw, <laughs> oh, come on, David. You must have some kind of work for me to do around here. I don't know, Oscar. I heard what you did to Maria's window. 
Oh, well, that was just a little misunderstanding. Nothing like that'll happen. Well, I guess I could use you for something. Yeah? Look, like I've what? got to make a delivery. Yeah? Okay? You want me to do that? And I want you to mind the store. Mind the store, yeah? Yeah, but yeah. if a customer comes in here, I want you to tell them that David will be right back. David will be right back. I want you to say that and no more. Mm. Don't do anything else. You got it. No sweat. I'll just stand here, tell everybody to wait till you get back. Right. Um, I don't have to be uh, too nice, do I? Yeah, but not too grouchy either. <sighs> All right, I can handle it. I can handle it. Okay. Say, uh, I haven't had any lunch yet today. Could I have a little of that soup you got cooking there? Oh, sure. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, well, don't worry about anything. Okay. Yeah. Well, things are looking up. It certainly is an easy job. Standing here, just waiting for David to come back. Now for a little of this soup. Oh, wow. Why, that is terrible. That soup really needs something, like... A uh, little uh, pepper. Yeah, here's pepper. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. And uh, it's not very rich a broth. Banana will help that. Good, good. And uh, everybody loves fish. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I should use the ladle, I suppose. But uh, maybe I could uh, add a few marshmallows. That ought to make it about right. Let me just give this a test here. Hey, boss, you're back. Yeah. Well, everything's fine. No problem. Yeah, you had no customers. That's why nobody's waiting for you. Oh, good, good, good. No Tell problem. Tell me, Oscar, uh, what do I owe you? Hey, I'll send you a bill. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I thought maybe you'd like to try the soup. I found it delicious. Oh, Oscar, that's huh. very nice. How come you're being so nice? Huh? Is it because you wanted a job? I must be slipping. <laughs> <laughs> what is... What is that in my soup? Well, I fixed it up a little. You fixed it up? There's a, there's a marshmallow in my soup. Well, it hasn't fully melted yet, you know. And there, there's a fish in my soup. Uh -huh. <laughs> you put a banana in my soup. Yeah? Oh, oh what do you do, do to my soup now? Well, what am I going to do with this? Well, you could give it to me. I love soup like this. Okay, here, you can have it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm going to have some right now. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. What? You don't mind if I don't look, do you? <laughs> Boy. My soup. My soup. <laughs> Gosh, you try to help some people. Hey, this is a small circle. Ooh, there, it's getting bigger and bigger. And that's a bigger circle. Ooh, now it's getting smaller. Oh, now it's getting bigger and bigger. Wow, that's a big circle. That's about as big a circle as you can have, huh? Oops, now it's getting smaller. And now it's getting smaller. Ah, there, it's getting bigger. Now it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Goodbye. <laughs> Hi, I'm a world-famous photographer, and I'm here in the jungle to find some wild animals to take pictures of. Let's go see if there are any tigers around today. Come on. Shh. Hmm. Don't see any tigers today. Well, no tigers. Let's look for bears, okay? Maybe we can take a picture of a wild bear. Hmm. Don't seem to be any bears today, either. Hmm. No tigers, no bears. Well, suppose we look for elephants. An elephant makes a good picture. Shh. Hmm. Don't see any elephants today, either. Shh. 
Well, no use trying to take a picture today. There are obviously no animals around today at all. Well, maybe we'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> uh, see ya. Say cheese. Hi, Kiki. Hi. Hi, you. Fine. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Is that the kiss? Oh, I kiss you, too. <laughs> you know what I'd like to do? What? I'd like to rhyme. You want to rhyme with me? Yeah. Boy, I like rhyming. Okay, um, I tell you what, I will, uh, let me see, how do we do this? Uh, I will think of a word, and, uh, then you rhyme with that word, okay? okay. You think of another word. Ready? Okay. Um, um, moon. Spoon. Very good. Moon and spoon rhyme. Okay, um, what's another word? Um, Red. Head. Head. Head and red. Very good. Boy, see how we can work together a monster and a cute little girl. <sighs> Down Grand Bahama neath the stand-up palm On an island called Green Turtle Cay People sit and stare at the man who's there Counting coconuts night and day You'll find him dressed in a cave in the island sun Got no time to rest till his counting's done Never gets depressed cause he's having fun He's the coconut counting man Tell everybody now I'm the coconut counting man Everybody He's the coconut counting man Watch him count now A one, uh -huh. a two, a three uh -huh. Oh, oh, yeah, four, a five, All right. a six, a seven Give me more numbers. I love it. Wonderful coconuts. Aha, uh -huh, wonderful. When the tropical breeze blows the nuts from the trees, everybody spies while he's counting. Oh, they glow and smile because his coconut pile is growing big as a mountain. Sure as stars are bright and waters deep, he'd rather count all night than go to bed and sleep. He counts coconuts instead of sheep. He's the coconut counting man. Tell the people. I'm the coconut counting man. Everybody now. He's the coconut counting man. Watch him count. 16, 17, uh -huh. 18, 19, 19, yes, 40. Oh, yes. Oh. Ah, ah. Oh, oh, I love these coconuts. Uh -huh. Wonderful. I never got his name, don't know from where he came. But there's one thing that is true. 
No coconut amounts too big for him to count. You can count on him to count for you. Everybody now. One and two, uh -huh. three, four, five. Yes. It's wonderful to be alive. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm so proud as proud can be that I've been a coconut counting man. Yes, everybody now. He's a coconut counting man. Once, once again, again now. All right. Man. Once again, I'm a coconut counting man. man. Ah, let's hear it count. Yes. Oh, yes. 24, 25, uh -huh. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 uh -huh. coconuts. Oh, uh, that's uh, a lot uh, of uh, coconuts. Yes. Yes, sir. I think the island's sinking. Ah, uh, we need to find a bigger island anyway. Yes, but I got you, so what else matters? Ah, ah, ah. see. Yes? You expecting an order? Yes. I ordered five tall things. Well, here's tall thing number one. Oh, a ladder. Tall thing number two. A giraffe. Number three. A flagpole. And the fourth. A tree. And tall thing number five. A duck. But a duck isn't tall. Oh. Hey, Phil, aren't you forgetting something? There you go. Five tall things. Ah, hmm. uh, oh, oh boy. Yeah, it's time for my nap. Oh, my tired. Ah, yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Bert. Oh, Bert. Oh, buddy, Bert. Hey, Bert. Bert, where are you, Bert? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. You know, it is just possible that my old buddy Bert here is asleep. For one thing, he's lying down, which he usually does when he is asleep. For another thing, his eyes are closed. Hmm. And for another thing, he's not answering me when I talk. So old buddy Bert is probably asleep, but I will check just to make sure. Poke, 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 poke. Note how I can poke old buddy Bert in the stomach and he doesn't complain. Now when old buddy Bert is awake and I poke him in the stomach, he complains. Hmm. Oh, looky here. Note, note how floppy and soggy like old buddy Bert's arm is. Yeah. When old buddy Bert is awake, he's not floppy and soggy like. So, I am quite certain that old Buddy Bert is very definitely asleep. Uh, on the other hand, now his eyes are open. My old Buddy Bert's eyes are usually open only when he is awake. So he's probably awake, but I will check just to make sure. Poke, 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 poke. Now poke. cut that out. See, I was right. He's awake. Ernie. Yeah? Why did you wake me up? Did I wake you up, old buddy? Yes, you did. See, I was right. First he was asleep, now he is awake. Ernie, why'd you wake me up? Um, uh, let's see, uh, oh, because I have something very important to tell you. What's that? We well, see, I just looked at the clock. So? It's time for your nap. <laughs> oh, sleep tight. Now that you've eaten everything in sight, would you mind telling me what you plan to have for dessert? Just let you out. 
Quickly, come on, I just let you in. Dogs. Did you ever notice that about dogs? They can't make up their minds. In and out, in and out, that's what a dog is all about. He can't decide, he's filled with doubt. So first he goes in and then he goes out. When you think he's drowsy and ready to sleep, up on all fours, he'll quickly leap. He'll run to the door, he'll scratch, he'll whine, and beg to go out for the 14th time. In and out, in and out, that's what a dog is all about. He can't decide, he's filled with doubt, so first he comes in and then he goes out. Sitting on the outside on this lovely day, wouldn't you think he'd love to stay? Oh, he looks as happy as a lark. He'll run to the door and he'll start to bark. In and out, in and out. It's what a dog is all about. He can't decide. He's filled with doubt. So first he comes in and then he goes out. Gonna paint a five. Let's see. Nope. Hmm. Nobody home. You're small. I'm big. He's small. You are small. No, he's small. You are the smallest. Now I'm big. No, you're still small. They're smaller. You're small. You're small, too. You're smaller than me. They are small. And so is he. This is big. It's small. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. You're small. <laughs> He's big. This is small. Now it's big. <laughs> I'm big. Ah, ah, small. I'm big, you're small. I'm the biggest. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> <Ow! laughs> I'm small. But he's big. I am big. Whoop! Sesame Street sneak peek previews with your
your hosts, Telly and Oscar. Come on, Telly, move yeah, it in. I'm, We're going to miss moving, the flick. I'm moving as fast as I can. <sighs> okay. Um, Oscar. What? Um, I want to sit over there. Uh, what? Come on, let me... Because I, I just want... Mm. All right. No! It's my toe. Well, you asked for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're not going to get me today, Oscar. <laughs> See, that seat's broken. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> well, across from me, we have Telly Monster and his spilled popcorn. Okay. Uh, yes, um, hello. This is Telly Monster. Um... I can't wait to show you today's movie, and the cross from me is Oscar. Yeah, this is Oscar, and I can't wait to get out of here. <laughs> Oscar, now come on. This movie's gonna make you want to dance and sing. <laughs> ah, no it isn't. It's gonna make you want to close your eyes and put your hands over your ears. Well, <laughs> you'll see who's right. <laughs> Ralph, roll it. <laughs> Wasn't that a cute song? Uh, Those dancers were just adorable. Well, I have to agree with you, Telly. They were so adorable, I loved watching them disappear. So before I go, I'll give you my opinion. Three fooies. Fooey, fooey, and fooey. Well, I couldn't disagree with you more. I thought it was wonderful. Oh, the music, the costumes, the dancing. It gets five wows from me. Wow, 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 and wow. Yeah, well, to me, it was just a big bow wow. So fooey on the music, fooey on the costumes, and fooey on the dancing. Well, I learned a lot about subtraction, too. Oh, yeah, the best part was at the end, when all the dancers were gone. Oh, no, that was sad. I'd like to see it again. again for Sesame Street Sneak Peek Previews. I love watching those two go at it. <laughs> it's me. It's me. Oops, uh, hello, everybody. Uh, it's me. I'm on television. It's my first time on television. I finally got my big chance. I brought a sign with me. It says, me. So everybody will know it's me on television. Look out, look out! Help me! Someone get this me sign off of me! I'm on television! It's me! The night was fine, and me was having a real great time. Then me got careless, me 
don't know how But me had something me can't find now Me lost me cookie at the disco Me lost me cookie in the foggy music Me lost me cookie at the disco Me want it back Me want it back again me not sure how it happened, but me took me favorite cookie with me to the disco. Me want to give it to you know a happy, snappy, good time, but me lost cookie. Oh yeah, the mood exciting, the music loud. Me just a part of that happy crowd. Me feet go crazy across the floor, but suddenly my sweetie not be there no more. At the disco, me lost me cookie in the foggy music. Me lost me cookie at the disco. Me want it back. Me want it back again. Cookie, oh please come to cookie, cookie. Oh, excuse me, you sing cookie. Sorry, excuse me, you sing cookie. Keep dancing. Oh. So happy, it feels so grand. How this thing happened, we no understand. Me yuck it, dunk it back. So how me know? Me maybe never find out where me cookie go. Oh, cookie. Me lost me cookie at the disco. Me lost me cookie in the boogie music. Me lost me cookie at the disco. You guys want to play a guessing game? Yeah. Yeah, you do. But, you know, the first thing we have to do is make sure that everybody knows what a five looks like. Do you know what a five looks like? Yeah. What's this? A five. That's a five right there. Right? It goes like this, then down, and then around. That's a five. Isn't that a five? Yes. Is that a five? Okay, okay, Ralph. You hold it for me, okay? Now I'm going to show you a picture. Can you just move down here? Just move down so I can put the picture right here. See that? Now, what I want you to do... Here, let me get the five back from you. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. You're going to find the five for me, huh? All right, you go first. Now, Ralph, you move down here. You sit here, honey. Now, where do you see a five? Everybody's going to get their turn. Where do you see a five? Right there. Well, let me see if you're right. Let me check this out. Put the five. Does that match? I can't see it from here. Does that match pretty good? Yeah. All right, that's one five. Now, Ralphie, you find another five. Can you find the other five? Very good. Let me see. Let me check it out. Is that right? Yeah. Does that match? Okay, and Erica, can you find the last five? Mm -hmm. po point to the last five. Let's see if you're right. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Yes. That's a perfect match. Everybody knows number five, huh? Yeah. Give me five. Give me five. All right. Dear Diary, tonight... 
everything went wrong with the act. First, when I reached into my hat to pull out a rabbit, I pulled out a stray cat. Ow! 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 And when I made the flowers appear, they were full of bees. Ow! Ow! And my butterfly trick was all wrong, too. Instead of butterflies, they came out to be elephants. Ouch! Ow! The most amazing thing is that they love the show and want me to do the same thing tomorrow. We take you now to Kermit the Frog with another fast-breaking news story. Him to stand where? On the other side of me. Uh, excuse me, sir. Would you mind standing on the other side of me? Look at me. How's that? Can you see him better? Oh. Uh, oh, uh, hi, oh. This is Kermit the Frog, and today we have a world famous guest, the Invisible Man. Now, the Invisible Man is very famous because although he is here, you cannot see him, and that's because he's invisible, you see. Uh, tell me, sir, it's very nice to see you. Uh, or not to see you, as the case may be. Well, it's nice to see you, Kermit. Uh huh. Uh, tell me, uh, since you're invisible, uh, do people have a hard time telling where you are? Well, not when I'm wearing my hat. Well, what is it? Too much? I can get rid of it for you. No, no. It's, it's, uh, there you go. That's quite all right. Uh, 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 tell me, sir, um, what does an invisible man do for a living, sir? Uh, I'm over here on the other side. I feel more comfortable over here. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay. Um, uh, <clears throat> uh, tell me, sir, uh, what does an invisible man do for a living? A second thought, maybe I feel better where I was in the first place. Uh, will you just put your hat on so I can tell where you are? Oh, sure. Uh, there, there you go. Uh, yes, uh, tell me, sir, uh, what does an invisible man do for a living? Well, me, I'm, I'm a dancer, a tap dancer. A tap dancer. Oh, say, would you mind uh, uh, doing a... little a, buck and wing, huh? A little buck, yeah, sure, that'd be wonderful. Sure, sweetheart. A uh, little music, professor? <laughs> Look at that, folks. Remember, you saw it first on Sesame Street. Hey, John, can you get a close-up of his dancing feet there? Oh, that's really wonderful. That's the twinkling toes of the Invisible Man. That's tops and taps. Very nice, very nice, sir. I, uh, I know you're there. I can hear you breathing. Yeah, I've got to catch my breath. Yeah, tell me, sir, uh, is the rest of your family invisible? Oh, yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, I haven't seen my mother in years, nor has she me. Uh, but, but why talk about them? Why don't I just bring them in? Oh, well, I'd love to see them, uh, or not to see them, as the case may be. Come on in, folks. Uh, yeah, this is my wife, Cynthia. Oh, how are you? Oh, hello there. Oh, I watch you all the time on Frog Witness News. Oh. Yeah, yeah, she does, too. Oh, hey, nice. hey, Cindy, long oh, time there's see. my sister, uh, uh, Jill, and her brother. Uh, uh -huh. uh, or oh, there's a twins. Ah, Frog, look! Yeah, yeah. visible one! <laughs> oh, very me. nice. Uh -huh. Yo, nice to hey, see you, too. Oh, hey, here's my mom, my dad. Come on, oh, Mom, Dad. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah oh, here's oh, Uncle Charlie oh, and the baby Claude. Well, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, hi there. Nice oh, to see you. Oh, you have just an invisible baby, huh? Tell me, Invisible Man. Invisible Man? I seem to have lost it. Uh, don't push there. See, it just occurred to me, are you all wearing any other clothes? Or... Uh, I seem to have lost the Invisible Man here. Uh, so uh, this is Kermit the Frog uh, returning to your regular program. Ooh, stop pushing, would you? Ooh, somebody uh, poked me in the ribs over there. And now, the group you've all been waiting for, the Lovers of Five! I'm 
David. And I'd like to tell you about my favorite number, which is the number five. And the number five is my favorite number because it has one straight line here. And then it has a round line on the bottom here. And then it has another line on the top. I love singing about the number five. Give me five. five. Ah, give me five. Yeah. Give me one, two, three, four. Give me five. Give me one, two, three, four. But if you love me more, give me five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me five. Hello, I'm Bob. I like a number that's easy to count to. That's why I really appreciate the number five. You just go one, two, three, four, and there you are at five. Look at that five standing up there so straight and tall. I'm proud of you, number five. Ooh, give me five. Give me five. Give me, five. Give me, five. Give me one, two, three, four. Give me five. Give me, give me, give me one, two, three, four. But if you love me more, give me five. Give me five. This is Gordon speaking. And I just love a number that's the same as my finger. You see, I've got five fingers on this hand, and that's five. And another five fingers on this hand. You see, I like to know where it's at at all times. And five is right between four and six. Ooh, give me five. Five. Give me five. Yeah. Give me five. Give me one, two, three, four. Give me five. Give me, give me. Hola, yo soy Luis. A mí me ha gustado el número 5 desde muy chico. ¿Saben ustedes que 3 y 2 son 5? Y que 4 y 1 son 5 también. Ah, qué suave. El número 5. Give me five, give me five, give me one, two, three, four, give me five, give me one, two, three, four, five, you love me more, give me five. I da 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 I love lo, love no I love I love love you I love you no. Yeah. I love you. I love you. Where do you get it? 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 Where do
This is the letter D. See what it looks like? The letter D is a very useful letter. For example, if you wanted to talk about animals, you could talk about donkeys, deer, dolphins, ducks, doves, Dalmatians, dachshunds, dragons, and dinosaurs. Then, when you grow up, you can be a dancer, a dentist, a detective, druggist, ditch digger, doctor, dishwasher, or a daddy. And in your spare time, you can write in your diary, dress your dolls, dig, draw, drum, or just drop down into the daffodils and daydream. A delightful letter, the letter D. Thing that I like. Yeah. It's ice cream. I like mashed potatoes. What's the favorite thing you like to eat? Uh, sweet. Anything sweet? Sesame like Street has been brought to you today by the letters like D fresh. and E. Hey. And by the number like milk? five. Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop. Bye. <laughs>